Hi Pisces, this is your finance reading for January 2022. This is the short version. I'm just doing the bottom card for the short version and then there will be part two going on to the long version for YouTube. You have the world. So the world is your oyster. So you could be um, working with people around the world and money could be coming in. You're going could be coming up to the next level with finances or in career getting promotions or getting more money making more money because you're working globally you could be dealing with a Taurus, leo scorpio or um, an, an aquarius also the world is your oyster literally you're balanced you're feeling on top of the world you are balancing your books and your finances good on you you could be investing in a new house or uh, an expansion refurbishing a new house also you could be going on holiday taking that break these this is the new deck and um, i hope you would like to see them there is a review made on all these decks i'll see you in part two my darlings hi pisces this is part two so i'm going to carry on with the world card like i said you could be working around the world or globally uh, on the web you could have a shop on the web, internet also um, you could be um, expanding the business and you could like i said going on to the next level in career this is the finance reading so i'll keep it to strictly to the finance also you could be working getting a new partner and that's the taurus that is the leo scorpio or aquarius now and i've got this deck a new deck given to me by Brenda Tarot Readings and also thank you very much to Brenda and her husband. My Christmas came in today. This deck tells a story. Every single card comes from a, the Grimm or an other folklore story. Haina me mo moa and tutan ne kai. That's, um, I'm sorry if I butcher the words. But that's the story. New Zealand, it's a Maori legend. You can see the Maoris here. I've been to New Zealand, so that's bringing back memories. The world is the happy ever after ending, following a difficult journey. Heino Moa and Tuton, Tuton Nekai represent a victorious conclusion and a positive outcome most desired. However, a conclusion also heralds the start of a new journey. So there you are, that's the full circle of the world. A new, uh, an, a new beginning after an ending. Also, this is the karma card. So you could be receiving money back if somebody's loaned money from you. Also that, that means completion. You've got the recognition and that's why you're balanced. You, uh, you are fulfilled, triumph and you could be celebrating you could be partnering up as well because this card means marriage so marriage means partnering up you could be partnering up with a new partner or more partners since there's more signs in this one card you also have the ace of swords victory boom yes the money's coming in yahoo yahoo and victory is yours so like i said somebody could be in, uh, owing you money so they could be paying you back that's the full circle victory is yours it could be through a, a judicial uh, situation like you might have to take somebody to court and they're giving you uh, you're getting your compensation also big money with new ideas you're putting new ideas um, out there and we've got the web talking about the web the world the web here this like the spider web like internet um, so yes definitely you might be branching out and all these knots have all links you're linking up to other businesses perhaps you might be franchising for different businesses also like i said new ideas put them out into the material world you might be learning something new about bookkeeping or finances you might uh, be more um, secure and direct and getting clarity on how to finance perhaps through institutions because the sorts 
also rep represents municipalities or institutions. You could get a tax rebate. Wow, beautiful. You've also got the eight of coins recognition for your hard work and your determination. So definitely you're keeping the balancing the books and you're keeping it to the straight and narrow to bring clarity so that you can do your tax returns. Things are becoming clear to you gaining wisdom you've learned you've done it well your hard work is paying you off perhaps you might be doing your own bookkeeping and cutting the costs with the bookkeeper um, and getting it just checked out to lawfully um, get that seal of approval so um, there won't be mis any misunderstandings at the tax office you've also got the seven of coins you might be planting uh, new seeds or making new investments, like I said, something returning with the, the circle, the web, there could be dividends coming in um, from last year. Awesome. So your different projects could be paying off, but it's taken time. You've been diligent and you've been patient. So now it is being paid off. Wow. Beautiful. Seven is also good luck. And you've got the Nine of Cups. We can't get it better than that apart from the sun. You've got victory here. Boom, boom, boom. I love it. I love it. It's magic in the air. And you've got the Nine of Cups. So your wishes will be fulfilled. You will be celebrating. Could be double celebrations. Also, also we have the planet cards. The house, the planets and the zodiacs. But you've got the planets. And you have Festa. The goddess within your sacred spiritual center and quiet dignity so yes i know you are very spiritual um pisces i'm sorry i'm getting really excited for your reading i wish it was the gemini <laughs> anyway so uh, you've got vesta um she is like a goddess um a goddess from within your spirit within you might be also going within and cheering up and feeling really at peace and in balance awesome now she i'm going to read a little bit from the book and so yes you've done well balancing yourself if you balance your mind and your heart and your your chakras then everything is in alignment and it just seems that everything is in alignment financially and more more things will be coming in it's good the current airing energy is focused on the part of you that is represented by Festa. On the card you see a goddess within, a representation of the sun in a stained glass window. Ah, right. This is one of my newest decks as well. You can see all these because these two were given to Bre from Brenda to me, from Brenda Terror Readings. So, uh, they and they work magically, really. The sun is the spiritual center of our solar system, your emotional chakra. So be open. The sun is shining on you. And Vesta represents the spiritual center of you, the fire, the divine within, and your perfect sacred spirit. The card suggests you should withdraw to the sanctity and specialness inside and caress your aloneness. For when, ev when involved with others, has resulted in loss, connect, uh, in loss of connection to the soul's purpose. Festa assists within recognition and reconnecting, reconnecting balance between inner strength and service to others is essential for a strong spiritual center. Like I said, taking sacred time out it is the that your spiritual your spiritual this is a spiritual reading as well so go back within and be proud of what you've done and maintain your balance with your chakras and your solar plex and also your heart i love this reading so far it's crazy and you've got the sun again i promise you on my heart and on my life i didn't sort out the cards now let me see and it's number one so you've got two sun cards and this looks to me like a fairy and she's bathing and she's washing off all the slurry the negativity 
um, in this bird bath. I just love it. And she's one with nature and the insects are coming to her. You've got a little book on in the plant and also um, uh, paint brushes and she's got a CD there. So relax and listen to music. Be one with nature. That is what I would say. Also the sun card looks a, it means a little bit like the tarot card it's new beginnings and great creative creativity the sun brings blessings to the earth and this card uh, portents blessings in your own life as well just in the sun nurture as the sun nurtures the earth bringing new life in the spring and summer this is your time for a new beginning the onset of of a nurturing new light in your life the light of divine inspiration and personal growth like I said let the ideas come out into the material world this card often marks a time of great creativity bringing the culmination of an important new project such as a birth of a baby or the writing of publication or a book so you could with this ace of swords you could be publishing something or doing presentations something like that on on the web and bringing in money or even the birth of a new you now is the time to put your energy into expressing your truth and vision so let the ideas come out and you let other people see your visions you can visualize things you can make things happen you are creative especially with your inner self Visualize the light of the divine love pouring into your heart and mind, like the rays of the sun, bringing inspiration, growth of finances and everything else, and abundant blessings. See the future you want to create and know the sun is shining on your intentions now. Wow, this is mind blowing. This is great stuff. Okay now you've got number seven so that's lucky you're going up from seven to nine eight nine you're climbing fast wow and the person in your life is the angel okay that's the angel i love that oh this is this is the best reading i've ever had the angel and the numbers is number three that's your month and number 11 the angel uh, number 11 that's the angelic doorway, so it can be 11 or 3 or 113 or 1 uh, or 14, 1 and 3. 11 and 3 is 14, so it can also be 311. Play around with the numbers and I hope you have enjoyed this reading, Pisces. I certainly did. So take care, stay safe and be blessed and have a brilliant financial month boom yes i love it it gets me excited this i love these cards crazy bye bye